up family welcome to the channel like subscribe so you can help me to grow this channel hit that notification button so you can get all this crazy content where you don't have to scroll through for anything you're notified immediately when a new video comes out right so the topic of today i just watched the press conference canelo Munguia. very cool very cool right i'm gonna go into this fight right now how it was a pretty impressive press conference uh canelo looks confident Munguia looks confident Freddie Roach had his little bit to say. Hall of Fame trainer in Munguia's corner is going to benefit from his knowledge immensely. immensely considering he's, an, he's like an offensive trainer. So he's going to fit Munguia's style perfectly. Because Munguia loves to attack. But obviously he's got to be very careful as well. Because when you attack Canelo, Canelo is a great counter puncher. He loves that pressure. Come to me, baby. Come to me. You gotta be careful, man. You get the uppercut and you're out. This is the first time ever two Mexicans are fighting for a four belt in one division in the super middleweight division. So they're making history as well. Obviously, we was looking for the Benavides fight, but this is a great Great second option. This is going to be an amazing, I think it'll be a really, really cool fight, man. Because Styles makes fights. And Canelo's, obviously, the more he's matured, he's more smart fighter. Canelo, go, Canelo can fight often, offensively, defensively. He's smart, right? His defense ain't as good as Pernod, Whitaker, or Mayweather, but he's still really good. He knows when to use it. So the young Munguia better be careful, doesn't go start steaming in and starts attacking. But obviously when he's got Freddie Roach in his corner, a Hall of Fame great trainer with all that knowledge, he's definitely, definitely going to acknowledge that, back him off slightly, tell him to attack when not to attack. So proper boat, it's going to be an amazing fight. It's funny that Oscar and Canelo for this fight, have sort of dissolved, put their differences aside, right? Ain't that funny when there's money involved? It just dissolves all the problems. Ain't it funny that it does that, man? Money does that to you. Ain't that funny? Money has a way of doing that to you. But then again, when money's involved, you don't want to be too, too stubborn, as Bob Aaron used to say. Never be stubborn when it comes to business. You're screaming at one guy for one minute. You think to yourself, you'd never talk to him again. They'll call Bob on the phone. We're making a fight. Would you or I want to do this fight? Immediately when there's money's involved, Bob forgets about the fight. Yeah, let's go. Let's make the money if it makes sense. So it's a smart move. Oscar and Canelo push their differences aside because there's bucks involved, man. Millions and millions and millions involved. Right? So May the 4th, I'm looking fighter forward to this fight. It should be a good matchup, attacking fighter. It's tailor made for Canelo, but depending on how he comes out. Look, John Ryder, Canelo went the distance with him. Munguia stopped him. So it's going to be a very, very interesting fight. If Canelo wins this fight, and he's the favourite, you should win this fight, right? Benavides could be on the cards, but will Canelo fight Benavides? Who knows? He's in the driving seat, right? He's been in some tough, tough fights over the years. He's established himself, so he can do what he wants, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? So he's, he's, he's earned that right. But if Munguil wins, he's just gonna, his credibility is just going to go through the roof, sky high. He's just going to blow up, man. He's going to be the unified Mexican fighter. And then... The fight between him and Benavides can happen. So we'll just see how he transpires. But obviously Canelo is the favourite in this fight. And let's just see what happens. Canelo is getting older. Like, you know, if he slips a bit on the day, if he's not on form. But Canelo is a constant prof uh, uh, professional. So I would assume he'll definitely come on form. So it's going to be a very, very interesting fight. So let's just see how he transpires. I'm looking forward to watching this fight on May the 4th. Thank you for watching this video. 
I hope you enjoy, like, subscribe, hit the notification button so you can get all this wicked content, man. Stay lucky, stay blessed, have a great day. I'll see you on the next one.